Hello, welcome back to the next problem number 2.22 and part number A from the open M book. And in this problem, we have to find the response of a LTI system whose input and the impulse response expression is given. And we have to find the response for two cases when alpha is not equal to beta and when alpha is equal to beta. So we will see the response of this LTI system for both the cases one by one. So we know that if a LTI system whose impulse response H of T and input is X of T and output is Y of T is given then the output of this LTI system we can write like y of t is equal to x of t convolution with h of t and we can expand this equation like minus infinite to infinite because this is a continuous time system so x of tau h of t minus tau d tau this is the formula that we will use to find the response of a LTI system. Now, we will start from when alpha is not equal to beta. And the input and the impulse response of a LTI system is given and that is x of tau is equal to e to the power minus k alpha tau u of tau if we draw pictorially the input signal then this will be like this is tau at t is equal to 0 this is 1 at t is equal to infinite this will be 0 and impulse response is e to the power minus k beta tau u of tau and if we draw pictorially the impulse response that this will be same like input but thing is only slope will change because alpha is not equal to beta so at t is equal to 0 this is 1 at t is equal to infinity this will be 0 and this is h of tau now <clears throat> what is h of minus tau h of minus tau is nothing but if we flip h of tau about t is equal to 0 like if we flip h of tau about t is equal to 0 then this will be like uh, this this is h of minus tau and if we draw separately then this will be this is h of minus tau at t is equal to 0 this is 1 at t is equal to infinite this will be 0 this is h of minus tau this is tau not t now we have to find h of t minus tau because if we want to find the response of a LTI system then this will be minus infinite to infinite x of tau h of t minus tau so x of tau we already find now we have to find the h of t minus tau so for h of t minus tau this will be for two value when t greater than 0 or when t less than 0 so h of t minus tau for t greater than 0 for t greater than 0 this is for t greater than 0 h of t minus tau and this is for t less than 0 h of t minus tau see 
if we want to find h of t minus tau for t greater than 0 see this is nothing but if we shift the h of minus tau toward right hand side by a factor of t then this will be h of t minus tau this is t and at t is equal to infinite minus infinite this this will be zero because this is also zero so this is h of t minus tau for t greater than zero and uh, and h of t minus tau for t less than zero is nothing but this if we shift this signal toward left hand side by a factor of t then this will be h of t minus tau now we know our x of t is this our x of t is this and if we want to find the response of a LTI system we know that y of t is equal to minus infinite to infinite x of tau h of t minus tau d tau this integral is non-zero only when the product of these two signal the product of these two signal will be non-zero and this will be non-zero only when t greater than zero when we multiply these two signal because they are overlapping to each other this part is overlapping to x of tau that's why the product is non-zero and if we see this is for t less than zero h of t minus 2 is in second quadrant and x of tau is in the first quadrant so the product will be zero so we will find the uh, the response of the lti system only for t greater than zero and for t less than zero it will be zero so the response of a lti system is y of t is equal to minus infinite to infinite e to the power minus k alpha tau u of tau e to the power minus k beta this is beta t minus tau u of t minus tau d tau if we simplify this expression then we know that u of tau is non-zero only when tau greater than zero and u of t minus tau is non-zero only when tau less than t so our integral limit also will be changed then y of t is equal to t is equal to tau is equal to zero to t because tau is equal to zero because this this factor uh, u of tau is non-zero only when tau greater than zero and u of t minus tau is non-zero only when tau less than two that's why this limit will be t so e to the power minus k alpha tau e to the power minus k beta t and e to the power uh, beta tau d tau if we solve this integral then y of t is equal to e to the power minus k beta t 0 to t e to the power minus k alpha minus beta tau d tau y of t is equal to e to the power minus k beta t if we simplify if we solve this integral then the answer of this integral will be 1 minus e to the power minus k alpha minus beta t upon k alpha minus beta this will be the response of a lti system when alpha is not equal to beta and if we sketch the response then this will be like y 
y of t t this will be like this this is a rough sketch so this will be like this and this magma will occur at t is equal to 1 upon k alpha minus beta ln alpha upon k beta at this point the magma of the response will occur now we have to find the response of a LTI system for alpha is equal to beta similar to the first part we will find the response of a LTI system for t greater than 0 because both the input response and the impulse response the product of those is non-zero so y of t is equal to minus infinite to infinite e to the power minus k alpha tau u of tau e to the power minus k beta tau beta t minus tau d tau and we know that alpha is equal to beta so y of t is equal to minus infinite to infinite e to the power minus k alpha tau and u of tau e to the power minus k alpha t minus tau u of t minus tau and here also u of t minus tau if we simplify this expression and uh, then the limit of the integral will change because this will be non zero for tau greater than zero and tau greater than zero and this will be non zero for tau less than t so after simplify that expression then y of t is equal to y of t is equal to 0 t and we know that e to the power minus k alpha tau and here is e to the power minus k alpha t minus tau so e to the power minus k alpha tau and e to the power minus k alpha t and e to the power minus plus k alpha tau and d tau see here if we simplify this then this will be e to the power minus k alpha t and e to the power alpha tau so this i wrote there alpha t and e to the power alpha tau and this cancel each other so y of t is equal to 0 to t e to the power minus k alpha t d tau and this is nothing but 0 to t 1 of d of tau and this will be y of t is equal to t e to the power minus k alpha t u of t and here also here also u of t u of t so when alpha is equal to beta then output will be y of t is equal to t e to the power minus k alpha t u of t if we sketch this figure then y of t is equal to y of t t then this will be like this and this magma will occur at t is equal to 1 upon k alpha 
and keep in mind we can also find the response in the second case when alpha is equal to beta from this expression how if we put here alpha is equal to beta then e to the power minus k beta t like e to the power minus k beta t if alpha is equal to beta then alpha this cancel each other and if this cancel each other then 1 minus k e to the power minus k 0 then 1 minus 1 upon k alpha is equal to beta so this is also 0 and so this will be like 0 upon 0 if we apply l, l hospital rule then we can solve and we can find the response in the case when alpha is equal to beta from here also thank you